Nancy Schuler is an artist from Troy, Ohio. She expresses herself both visually and musically, playing a variety of instruments at her church. And she has begun to express herself through visual art since she was a little child, always painting and seeing what she could explore in visual arts. Nancy is inspired from a multitude of reference points, variety of artists, from Michelangelo to Rothko's color fields to Kandinsky. She strives to bring what she feels and what she sees together to link between the subjective and objective in her work. Without further ado, here is Nancy Schuler. Hello. <laughs> Nice to have you nice. here, Nancy. Um, I hear that this is your first time in Italy. What has been the, your impression of it all, your experience here? It is, um, uh, it has just been, exceeded my expectations in beauty, in atmosphere, in um, the culture. The people here are happy and interesting. The, uh, I have seen an artistic passion that fuels the creativity, not only in their work, but in the landscape. The landscape is not, it's, there's order to it, but it's not calculated order. It's, it's with an eye of beauty, and to me, beauty is not depicted by, uh, it's not, solely intellectual, it's also from the heart. I see all the fields that are spaced and in interesting patterns with the grape orchards and then these gorgeous um, settings that were pre-engineered, I, I think, by peasants who lived very hard lives, but yet created such beauty. And um, so it it appeals to me tremendously, the warmth, um, the food that it comes from the earth where, and is enjoyed by everybody um, with such a relish. So um, I've really been able to de you know, develop my art. I've never had a chance to do that quite in such a beautiful atmosphere in such a dedicated fashion. Well, tell us a little bit about what you have developed here. Well, I, um, it's been a work in progress, though it's only been about 10 days. I've, um, you know, <coughs> listened to everybody, learned from everybody, learned from the environment, and learned from just doing. So the first thing I did was I went out into the field because I love to absorb. I'm a very sensitive person that takes in influences very easily. So I have to be very aware of that. It could be a two-edged sword. But I like to go into nature and just absorb the atmosphere. So I went into, you know, this was just some of my field studies. So this is my first day. Um, I, I did this in acrylic. All these are works in process because I've only been here 10 days. So I started out with acrylic. And the second day, I did another field study where I was just in the environment, enjoying it, um, you know, taking in the atmosphere. The, yeah, that's the, okay, there's, yeah, those, those two. And then there's one here. The third day, I took in Monte Fiorale, which is the most romantic, beautiful and significant little town close to Greve by San Crecci. Cressy. Uh, so I did that in acrylic, but I found after speaking with one of the artists here that she loves oils. And she, we went into Florence and we went and got fine linen and beautiful oil paints. So I started to do oils. And she said, if you're going to be a professional, use the best. So that the, my fourth day, um, I went into the olive field and I just painted with the oils. So I did that study, and 
Um, then the uh, fifth day, I did this study, and this study just taking in the atmosphere. Um, and so that was um, just a joy. Everything was a joy to me because uh, it was just so fun just to be there and look and feel the breeze and hear all the, the animals. At one point I saw, I paused and I saw five wild pigs cross the road and they were oinking as they went as I was walking through the olive trees in the grape groves and it was so fun. So then I looked at my palette and this, there was a moment of discovery when we were all in the studio and it was that my palette had beautiful patina on it after I had glazed it. So I thought, why not paint and just, just be totally free and paint in shapes and then develop it, you know, go in, in a little bit farther with the colors that match the values. And then come back into the studio and use uh, the local color based on my on my camera pictures. So um, the sixth day, uh, or maybe the seventh day, it, somewhere in there, I started, um, I thought I'd try something else. So I painted uh, the scenery in just a beautiful color, totally free, and just enjoyed myself. So I did three paintings uh, in this fashion. This one here, this one here, and this one right here. And then I, after I painted the three, I went and uh, went back with the camera pictures and painted it again. So what an amazing journey. Thank you so much for sharing, Nancy. Thank you. <laughs> they just wanted to come oh, with I just the four minutes today. <laughs> Thank you camera. for doing that. <laughs> no, but tell us, no, I want to know about, he just wanted to cut yeah. some.